and we're still going to be waiting for that because deadline day is here. The countdown clock is at zero. Sunday marked the seventh consecutive day in which representatives from the league and the PA met to hope to at least close the gap in negotiations on that new CBA. A league spokesperson told reporters that games will be cancelled without being made up after today. We'll see what happens. It's worth noting the owners could lift the lockout and spring training could begin nearly immediately while the two sides continue to negotiate. But at this point, there is zero indication that the owners would even consider that. All right, let's get into this with our MLB insider, Jim Bowden. Jim, when we sat here a week ago and talked about the fact that the two sides were going to be meeting over the course of the next seven days, you didn't hold out a lot of hope that they were going to get a deal done. And now here we are a week later. Basically, what you said has come to pass. Now, you've been working the phones, talking to people all weekend. What's the latest? So I talked to the owner's side last night after yesterday's session, and the word they kept using was productive. It was a productive day. Uh, they talked more about concepts on Sunday did, than they did exchange proposals. From the owner's perspective, it was a good day. They were looking forward to the negotiations on Monday that start at 10 a.m. I felt a sense of urgency from the owners to get the deal done on Monday. Remember, this is their artificial deadline. They're believing in this deadline. And I think you're gonna see the biggest movement that they've made in these negotiations today in an effort to try to get a deal done today. That's the sense I got. On the other side, on the player's side, I got the opposite feel. Uh, they told me last night that they were so far apart that they didn't think there was any chance of a deal getting done on Monday. I also got the strong feeling that they did not feel any sense of urgency having a deadline on Monday. They call it artificial. They said there's no difference whether they do a deal Monday or Wednesday or Thursday. They've got to do a deal when it's a fair deal. They also said that MLB can say they're canceling games, but if they, they got a deal done later in the week, they certainly could make part of that deal that they play a full schedule and that that stance could change. So that basically where both sides are going into this morning's negotiations. Okay, so Jim, then, what the, then what's the real deadline here? Because if it's supposed to be today, but the players are saying it doesn't, it doesn't matter what date they kind of put out there, what's the real deadline? Well, look, the, the real deadline it, it doesn't exist. I mean, look, we've all gone through work stoppages before. I mean, I did it. The last one was 1995, and, and we didn't get opening day until the third week of April. So... Look, I think both sides know it's a little different in 2022 than it was in 1995 because of social media. Yeah. I think everybody understands the damage that is happening to the game right now with all the labor talk and not having baseball. Every side wants a deal. Look, I'm hoping that today is movement day and whether we get a deal today or not, I'm hoping it at least sets the stage to get something done this week. I will tell you that I am very cautiously optimistic that by the end of this week, at the very least, I do think we're going to have an agreement. Yeah, I just want to mention, Jim came into the segment saying he thinks today's movie day is putting out the good juju out there because uh, he wants to get a deal done. Jim, there's been a lot of chatter about, I mean, really, who's holding things up here? I mean, you kind of alluded to it in your answer there to the first question. First, it was the owners. Now it's the players. In terms of public perception, who's coming off worse right now? Well, the public perception, clearly the owners are coming off worse. I think a lot of the fans are reading in the media these proposals, and they feel like the clubs are not taking into account the soaring revenues, and that that money really is not fairly going to the players. I would say that is the general perception. I will say behind the scenes, uh, both sides have, I would say, equal blame. To be honest, the strategy of the union and the negotiations um, they've spent a lot of wasted hours trying to negotiate non-starter issues for the clubs. So instead of negotiating areas where both sides could compromise, we've wasted days and hours on issues that the clubs have always said we're not moving on that issue. The other thing the players have done on three different occasions is they backtracked their offers. And even as of last night, uh, there were three areas where they had offers on the table that were worse than the offers they had on the table in October and November. I would say very clearly there's enough blame to go around. And instead of taking sides and instead of pointing the fingers, I think we all need a fair deal for everybody. Everyone needs to take responsibility of this negotiations. Everyone needs to take uh, their share of the blame. Everyone, including the fans, should not point fingers at owners and players. Instead, 
everyone should point to how do we get a deal? How do we move forward? Hopefully today will be movement day. All right, let's move along here. There is an interest. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.